All right, message received. You guys don't want any more of the crypto stuff. Got it, won't do it. But Intel has officially confirmed its next generation seven nanometer Meteor Lake client CPUs, which will be headed to desktops and mobility platforms in 2023. So a couple years from now. Intel unveiled that the Meteor Lake will be the first outgoing of its very own 7 nanometer EUV node in volume, which will mark a huge milestone for the company. Now, the Intel Meteor Lake lineup is now confirmed to feature a brand new x86 architecture, which will be making use of a modular design. Intel will be mixing and matching different cores together, similar to their hybrid approach on the upcoming Alder Lake CPUs, which will feature both 10 nanometer Golden Cove and 10 nanometer Gracemont cores. Now, Intel's Meteor Lake lineup of desktop and mobility CPUs is expected to be based on the line of Cove core architecture, and this is rumored to be known as Redwood Cove, as was reported by Moore's Law is Dead, and will be based on 7 nanometer EUV process nodes. It is stated that the Redwood Cove is designed from the ground up to be an agnostic node, which means that it can be fabricated at different fabs. Now, there are references mentioned to pointing out to TSMC to be a backup or even a partial supplier for the Redwood Cove based chips. Now, this might tell us that Intel is starting multiple manufacturing processes for the CPU family. Now, the Meteor Lake CPUs may possibly be the first CPU generation from Intel to say farewell to the Ring Bus Interconnect architecture. And there are also rumors that Meteor Lake could be a fully 3D stack design and could utilize an IO die source from an external fab again looking over to somewhere like TSMC. Now it is highlighted that Intel will be officially utilizing its Foveros packaging technology on the CPU to interconnect the various dies on the chip. Now as for what Intel's Meteor Lake family is going to offer, the family is expected to feature support on the LGA 1700 socket, which is the same one that will be used by the Alder Lake processors, and we can expect DDR5 memory and PCIe Gen 5.0 support. Now the platforms will support both DDR5 and DDR4 memory with the mainstream and budget tier options going for the DDR4 memory DIMMs while the premium and high end offerings going for DDR5 DIMMs. The NVMe support is also expected to be limited to PCIe Gen 4 rather than moving over to Gen 5 which the platform will support. So at the end of the day we might see various chipsets and platforms being limited to just their own generation of processors they are introduced with. Now the launch is still a couple of years away so Intel partners will have ample time to sort out and work on future generation support. Currently Intel has unveiled that they expect Meteor Lake to tape out around Q2 of this year. All right, guys, I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you liked what you saw here, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there. Hit the bell notification so that we don't miss you in the future. And if you want to catch out something you may have missed, hit up the links over here on this side. And we'll catch you in the next one.